Right, I wanted to talk about um, some of the parameters available in articles. So I'm going to go into an article and um, go into the screen where we edit. From there, um, on the right side, we've got some parameters. Just thought I'd go over these. Um, some of these are turned off, you're not going to use them. Some of them you might want to use. Basically we've gone and set them up so that you pretty much don't have to pay any attention to them but um, this video is just to explain uh, what they are in case you might want to. Um, article, you can pick different articles or um, authors under author. Um, you're probably not going to use this unless your site uh, either has news articles or um, a blog because um, then it would say written by so and so uh, on this date or whatever so um, you either pick someone here or if you wanted to uh, put someone new in and not add them as an actual user you would just type in their name um, right here. Access level public um, this is for um, pages that you know, can have different access levels. So public means everyone can view it. Registered would mean people would have to log in in order to see uh, the content of a page. We've got some clients that um, have members. People pay to be members, and then be part of their membership is that they get access to um, different information on the website. So if that sounds like you, then you can have it set up. Uh, where you'd make a page and then uh, choose registered that way people would have to log in to see what's on that page so that's what that's about special you're not going to really use create a date um, again that would be again if you're using a blog or a news item you could say written by so and so and on this date or whatever and there's a way to turn that on I'll show you um, start publishing finish publishing um, these are going to probably mainly um, pertain to news items. So if you had a section and category in your site for news items, you could um, set up different news items like to maybe publish in the future and end in the future. So if you had a special you want to run just one month, you could say, you know, if it's in November, then you could start it on November 1st and finish it the end of the month, whatever you want to do there. So that's just publish and unpublish just would happen automatically. Kind of a cool feature. Um, some more advanced features. Um, most of these are going to be set for global settings so um, that means that we've set them up but you can override them here if you want. Like show title, that's usually we have that enabled. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you here what the global setting is, but um, probably figure it out. If you want to change any of these, you just um, change it to either no or yes, and that would just pertain to the article that you're in. Um, that's why there's a global setting. So you've got title, you've got you know that the title is linkable, or that, you know link pertains that it. If you click on the title, it links to somewhere. Uh, we didn't really go over intro text and stuff yet, but there's ways to turn that on, section name. Um, there's kind of a lot here. Probably the ones you want to use are what I mentioned, uh, article name, or author name, sorry, so that it would show written by so-and-so. And, -so. and then um, you could turn this on. You would say this to, uh, show. If you wanted to show the created time and date of that article, um, or the modified time and date, these three uh, PDF is you get a button so that people can uh, take the content of the page and make a PDF file uh, to download. Let's say it's a big page and they they want to print it later or, or email it to themselves. They could um, click that, they get the download the PDF, and then they can email that. Um, print icon will give you a printer friendly um, button there so people could print it if they want. Um, some of the sites we set up have a uh, 
printer friendly style sheet so you almost don't even need to turn that on it automatically um, switches to a printer friendly format if people are trying to print um, email icon if you wanna put that one turn that on it's for if you wanna email the, the page to a friend so that you might wanna use so those are probably the main ones there um, this one here metadata these are empty because we have a different component in place to, uh, to handle that so it's okay that that's empty so that's it for parameters pretty easy again um, you're just gonna use them you're just gonna leave them how they're default unless you want um, some of these advanced parameters here turned on for your article so that's it